Hello, doers. As you might realize by now, project management and time tracking go hand in hand. Tracking time allows you to gather information on where the time spent on the project actually goes, what the most time consuming tasks are, what the bottlenecks are, and so on. And if you're selling your services, then of course, timesheets are also the base that you can use for invoicing your clients. Luckily, using Odoo's Timesheets application is very easy. So let's just go ahead and jump right into it. All right, let's go into the Timesheets application. And then the first thing that I see is the weekly view of my own timesheets. So using those buttons right here, I can, of course, uh, switch the view if I want to see the month instead of the week. And I can also go back and forth in time. And then the next thing that I see is, of course, all of my timesheets that I have locked so far this week. So I see that I spent two hours working on this task on Monday, for example. Now at the bottom, I have some totals. So uh, the numbers in green here on Tuesday, for example, I can see that I spent eight hours working and it's shown in green because that's the exact number of my working hours as specified on my employee form. Now, if I'm still missing hours and I should la log a little bit more, this is also displayed here in red. And then also any overtime is displayed like this uh, in black. Susanna, do you have any idea why some of the timesheets are in italics? Good question. So those are the tasks that I have spent uh, some time working on recently, and I might need to track some more time. So it's just something so you don't forget to work on the tasks that have hours allocated, as there's probably a client waiting for the work to be done. So now, if I want to start tracking my time, I can just do it with the built-in timer right here. I hit Start, and the timer launches. Then uh, I can just select the project that I'm working on from the drop-down menu here. Let's say wedding planning, and let's say that I'm choosing the venue. And I can also fill in some notes. Let's say, uh, I don't know, calling the venue. Then once I'm done, I can just click stop to stop the timer. And just like that, it's done. Next thing that I can do is I can uh, speed the things up a little bit by using the keyboard shortcuts. So if I say that I'm working on, uh, let's say task F right here, all I need to do is press F on my keyboard and the launch the timer immediately launches. Once I'm done, I press F again and it's finished just like that. That will save you a lot of time when you're switching between different tasks during your day. That's really handy. Is there other ways to log timesheets? Indeed. So last but not least, we can also log timesheets without even going into the timesheets application. So if I'm deep into working on my project uh, and into my project tasks, all I need to do is either, when, once I'm on my task, click on the Start button right here in the top bar and again, pause it or stop it whenever I'm done. Then I can even manually enter the amount of time that I spent. The minimum is 15 minutes, by the way, in this DB. I will say I spent half an hour and that's done. Or another thing that I could do uh, is I could just simply add a line here. I could uh, type in whatever I've been doing, working, very hard. And let's say I've done, let's say another hour here. So this is just something that allows you uh, to easily log timesheets without switching from the project ap application into another place. But for now, let's go back into my Timesheets app. And another responsibility that I have to have, uh, that I have is validating my team's timesheets. And to do that, I just click on to validate section here and I select the last period. And here I can review my team timesheets and make any adjustments. Like for example, I could say, I remember that Mike has worked uh, a little bit of an overtime uh, here on this task. He actually worked nine hours instead of 10. Um, and I can make any other adjustments like that. Okay, but how does Odoo know which timesheet should you validate? So it's something that's specified on the employee form. Let me show you. So let's go back to the main dashboard and into our employee application. And here, if I take Mike, for example, like we've just seen, if I go into his work information tab and scroll a little bit down to his approvers, you see that I am his designated approver for his timesheets. Now, if we go back uh, to the timesheets app and into my timesheets to validate, I'll show you something else. So here, this was the grid view, 
but I can also have a look at this list view right here. And that's very helpful for me if I only need to validate specific entries. So if I can just select the timesheets that I want to validate, click on the actions here and validate them. Easy. But let's say that I verified all of the timesheets entries for this week. I am back on my grid view and I'm actually ready to close off the week and approve everything that happened or months, like in this case, excuse me. I, I will just click on validate. And just like that, all of my timesheets that I had to approve have been validated. Done. Now, this is this were the basics of the timesheets application. I hope this was helpful for you. We'll explore a little bit more in the next video. And I look forward to seeing you there. Thank you so much for watching.